what one may be able to imagine. It was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess. We find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. To get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A Cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah! Are you all right? Mother? Oh shit, your hand! So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, Mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you... if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But... I trusted you. No, sir. Don't! No! No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? 
I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Well, I've devoted myself to the interests of France to the best of my abilities. A few years ago, I had a brush with some of your fellow countrymen. Counter-revolutionaries, I'd imagine. Exactly. They got away, thanks to a little diversion I came up with to keep the sans culottes away. Believe me, they came close to adorning the walls of the catacombs of Paris. So that young French diplomat was you? The mercy you showed the agents of the Queen roused the admiration of the court. Few would have let them leave France alive. Duchess, I'm surprised that anyone still remembers. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met? Oh, Emily, I am marked for life. I'm sure you leave your mark on every man who crosses your path. Pardon? That extravagant uniqueness with its rare blend of whimsical banality and cat-like curiosity. There's a veil of mystery around you that only adds to your charm and your curves. You would enchant any man. Hold it, Louis. You've lost me there. It's as though you have several women hidden inside you, Emily. I mustn't share my true feelings about you. If I ever dared, I, I... No, dare not, Louis. Better that way. You go and take a deep breath, and we'll forget all about it. Hey, hey, Emily, you've gone all red. Are you, are you blushing? Right, time to go to the manor. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. It's beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simple. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. 
It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Believe me, she's not that special. His eminence was asking me for my opinion about the style of the main door. I have to admit, this place certainly doesn't lack panache. It's simply stupefying. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richer, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Good Lord! Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends! Holy shit! That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh. We shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Let's see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry, Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. And you, Emily. What do you think of my mother? I only know her through the Order. The one time we met, we only exchanged a few words in a corridor of Parliament. And was the exchange courteous or impassioned? I'm not sure if I understand. Was there any reason for her to be angry with you? Under other circumstances, I would slap your face for even asking. But I'll put your lack of tact down to her disappearance. 
Know that your mother is a woman I would love to work with. Her reputation is entirely deserved. Mr. Washington will be able to tell you more. Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army and Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Oh, very funny, sir. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Huh. Peru looks totally out of place here. He's counting the ten sets of cutlery around each plate? The man is completely lost. Thank you again for the wine, Your Eminence. It is served every day at the King's table. I am delighted to hear it. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. <laughs> I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emma. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> yes, that's it. It's impossible. <laughs> no. A Prussian Britannic coalition is not good for France. The last time we fought against them, our empire went up in smoke. Is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically French. A Soudan, isn't it? Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same great varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would, would you repeat that? Oh, well, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. It's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mention that orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. Is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. <laughs> what do you think of Volner? The Prussian king is his puppet. I find it hard to believe the king of Prussia is so weak. Be careful. Volner is as influential as he is dangerous. You seem to know each other well. We used to work together. I see. <laughs> Have you any information on this Napoleon? What do you think, madam? 
What is this Bonaparte doing here? The presence of a soldier is never a good sign. It can only mean there's going to be further war. To answer your question, I only know that his family were in favor of the revolution, and that it almost cost them their lives. Thank you, that's helpful. You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business, then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. I've discovered a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret room. Something must have attracted her here, so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? My, you're curious. Let me guess. Go on then, impress me. You're spying on Mortimer, right? Everyone is spying on Mortimer. Shall I take that for a yes? Take it as you please, but I wouldn't be surprised if all the guests were around here somewhere searching the manor. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. Ancient Greek, translated, it reads, the all-gifted. Could this jar be the original Pandora's box? Emily, I've found Pandora's box. It's not as impressive as I thought it would be, but that's how these things usually go. I detest that legend. Once again, women are made responsible for all of the world's evils. And stop playing with that pot, you'll break it. Come on, let's move on. A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrible thing. <laughs> That's a pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And your flattery brings out your boorishness. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. I bet you've read them cover to cover. Naturally. Really? I'm curious. Tell me, what part stood out the most to you? The passage where Mary says to Joseph, Hey, you, shut up. In other words, you haven't even opened one. Greek drachma, one of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned both in the Bible and in the Quran. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. The workmanship on this crown is amazing. The finesse of the gold laurel leaves is beautiful. A crown worthy of an emperor. I'd stake my life that it's the genuine article. Well, oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. You should see this sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. It really does look like Joan of Arc's sword. The famous Maid of Orléans. One of your favorite historical heroines. You bet. Given the number of English butts she kicked. And we all know where that got her. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place?
amber crystals. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine, hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Several people have played the part of Mortimer, a part that has been passed down from generation to generation. Different men, but with one sole identity. An intriguing hypothesis, and yet less twisted than some of my previous cases. At last, you finally agree with me about something. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Why keep such a collection hidden in a secret room? Any thoughts? Mortimer has every reason in the world to conceal it, even if only to keep it from people like us. Hey, Emily, we're not thieves. We're only looking. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want? What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Pragmatic, intelligent, sure of herself. Her only weak spot is her difficulty talking about herself. I don't know much about your past, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own for much of your life. It might have closed you off, and that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, you may be right. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? I don't see us as partners for life. You won't owe me anything, you know. It doesn't commit you to anything after all. All right, you've gone to a lot of trouble. You deserve an answer. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. 
It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on. Don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one. Then for the other, we dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from home, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. She's been drinking too much again. Louie, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louie, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but... If I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Excuse me, Elizabeth, but some very urgent business has cropped up. We can speak tomorrow. No, Louis, don't leave me alone. They've come back. Good night, madam. Well, well, Louis, you took your sweet time. What did our poor Elizabeth want? The truth is, I really don't have the slightest idea. But I thought all of that could wait until tomorrow. That young girl seems very... Emily? Have I misunderstood something here? What are you doing in my room? And for a while now, the question has been nagging at me. And that explains why I now find you here in my bed. Go ahead. Ask me the question that's been burning at your lips. I know your mother was here to meet someone. But I can't figure out who. Oh. So that's what's been hiding behind all this. We are both members of the Order, Louis. Let's try to be honest with each other. I have followed with great interest your affair in Paris, in connection with Mr. Von Borchert. You managed to steal something from him, if I'm not mistaken. Are you talking about the Book of All Mysteries? Al-Azif? That's right, Louis. 
A valuable bit of plunder, isn't it? Yeah. When we finally found it, we took it. And where is the book right now? Amazingly, it's right here. Mother took it with when she came. This is quite fascinating. But just what did Sarah expect to accomplish here? If only I knew myself. My mother always takes a sly pleasure in telling me as little as possible. Oh, poor little Louis. Your mother hides things from you. That's not very nice. No, it's not nice at all. And you? What were you supposed to do once the book was found? Give it to our sponsor, of course. Sir Gregory has more than one card up his sleeve. So you mean home is playing both sides? Right. Enough chatting. Come and join me instead. fast asleep. Hmm, as beautiful by night as she is by day. Can explain. Perhaps, but remain still. Still. But, but first, you could perhaps remove the blade from my throat? You have ten seconds to explain your presence here. Madam, ten seconds isn't enough for me to tell you how sorry I really am for having entered your room, and I mean that sincerely. That's a good start. What are you doing in my room? I was only passing through. I swear it to you. I was in a hurry. I, I didn't know whose room I was in entering. Look. For someone in a hurry, you still found time to ogle me naked on my bed. Oh, yes. The first time you came through, I was awake. It was dark, and I, I didn't realize it was you. I, I had to look closer. Shut your mouth, sir. You are only making it worse for yourself. What were you really doing on the balcony? A young soldier arrived this evening. Someone was waiting for him in his room. I wanted to find out more, and what I heard was worth the risk. All right, go on. Has this anything to do with the Order? Oh, yes. Washington informed me you were part of the Order. You too? You're part of this too? Yes. Now answer. Do these events concern me? Do they involve the Golden Order? I overheard a conversation between a French soldier and some other individual. And what were they talking about? It seems Mother is involved. Something about a military campaign? Apparently my mother validated an order of cannons to help this man. Really? Since when does the Order finance wars? As far as I know, since never. Did they give any details, a date, what they were for? Nothing at all. Did you know anything about this? No, but I won't forget. Thank you. All right, Louis, I might have overreacted a bit. Please do excuse me, but next time, please try knocking on my door. I'd be delighted to open it for you. Oh, well, I'll remember in that case. Good night, Emily. Good night, Louis. Tell me, Emily, what's the nature of your relationship with Washington? Oh, come off it, Louis. You're not going to go into a jealous rage, are you? No, I can assure you of that. That has nothing to do with it. It doesn't really matter. Look, Louis, the President and myself are working on a number of commercial contracts. Nothing overly exciting. You're lying, Emily. These agreements come into being 
They'll break Franco-American alliances for the greatest benefit of England. Emily, I must speak to you. What's the matter, Louis? About last night, I'm guessing. I... sadly, no. Even if I'd like to have, I... Alas, there are more pressing matters. I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look, I've started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, her rank in the Order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. It must have been Emma I saw in my vision. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. They kept up a secret correspondence, which makes me think they were suspicious of someone. And did you find out who it was? No, but Von Volner is mentioned. They were planning to make a quick getaway and were looking to hide something beforehand. Have you got these messages? Yes. Go ahead, take a look. I see. I must say, uh, thanks for your honesty, Louis. Should I speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. Emily, there's something else. Go on, then. It's... it's about your sister. I don't know what happened exactly, but it's possible that my mother had a go at her. I know, Louis. I found out that same evening. Well, thanks for not trying to hide it. What? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know if I could trust you. Now I know I can. It seems that your mother tricked Emma. She apparently asked her to hide an important book, so that even she wouldn't know where it was. And then she shot her like a dog to make sure no one would ever find it again. Why would she do that? I don't know, Louis. But I'll find out. You can count on that. I'm sincerely sorry, Emily. Thank you, Louis. You're very kind. It means a lot to me. But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. Th there must be an explanation, Emily. That's what we shall see. We'll speak about it later, somewhere safe. Come, Louis. They're waiting for us. What do you want, Louis? What do you think of our last guest? Well, I never thought I would get the chance to meet that Hispanic Casanova in the flesh. His reputation is well known. The gentleman collects lovers, including, would you believe it, the Queen of Spain. The Queen of Spain likes to indiscreetly say, the King, Godoy, and myself make up the Holy Trinity. The people have appropriately renamed them the Goat, the Ruffian, and the Whore. <laughs> I didn't see you being a mudslinger in your idle hours, I must say. Emily, what can you tell me about the coming conference? Sir Gregory and Lord Mortimer organize this kind of high society meeting every so often in order to consider the world situation. But to what purpose? Well, by bringing together the most influential people from the dominant nations of the modern world, they allow the mighty to discuss matters with calm clarity. There are precedents of armistices being signed at the end of these talks, you know. Talking while holding a glass of brandy makes things easier. You'll see. You're leaving me? Unfortunately, I have things to do. Thank you again, madam. Good evening, Monsieur le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? That's not what I said. Ah, oh, by the way, congratulations on choosing Sir Gregory this evening. You surprised me. I wasn't expecting it. Why, Emily? Can't you read me like an open book? Not as well as you read me, it would seem. I'll teach you if you'd like. There's nothing I'd like more. Tell me, are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? 
Well, I should imagine you're still shaken. I promise to shed light on my mother's circumstances as soon as possible. There's not much to shed light on. What your mother did is inexcusable. She won the trust of my sister in order to more easily betray her. She didn't do anything to her. I... Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Come, Louis. I Emily? Emily? Are you there? Typical. There she goes again. What's with this habit of hers of taking off in the middle of the night? Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. What? So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, Remember me to your husband when you see him. Did you tell me what Duchess Hillsborough proposed to you on the night of the conference? I was sure you'd ask me that. Not that I hold the Duchesse dear to my heart, but I do nevertheless have some scruples. I have noticed you hovering around her since you arrived, and I only have one piece of advice to give you. Don't forget why she came here, and don't delude yourself. That makes two pieces of advice. Ah. How you love having the last word. Well, I leave you now. Why did Duchess Hillsborough go and see you last night? Ah, I see that it bothers you not to know. I've half a mind to send you on a wild goose chase. The Duchess simply came to persuade me to change sides. But rest assured, with the most honorable intentions. Now, Louis, time is... I leave you now. Just a minute. What did Duchess Hillsborough propose last night? Oh, nothing worth worrying about. The pretty little pudding eater found no better tactic than to threaten me. She would have been better off sliding into my bed. At least we wouldn't have wasted part of the night talking for nothing. Threatened you, you say? That's what I said. I think I'm going to have to be careful of English troops crisscrossing the Mediterranean for a while. The witch would let loose the wrath of the English crown on my august person. But if she thinks that would scare a Bonaparte, she is mistaken. Victim in all this. What on earth is... You... Mother? How dare you do this to me? You can talk. After everything I've done for you. You are joking, I hope. Right? I gave you my life. That's enough, Emma. Now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? What? If you think you're going to- Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I- What? Honestly. Don't be ridiculous. No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... You frizzy little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. Go on then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me? Go on then, shoot! After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait, what's going- An entire life for this. Go on, shoot! Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I... That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way. I am not Emma. 
Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I... That's right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. How can I tell them apart? Wait, I've got an idea. On the night of our arrival... You handed me something. I wasn't feeling very well. And you handed me something. What was it? My handkerchief. And you stained it with your blood. You still have it, as a matter of fact. But she already knows all this, Louis. It's a waste of time. Right. Let's find something else. Ah, uh, yes. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. On the night of our arrival, we were warming ourselves in front of the fire. More and more... ...welcomed us in a very odd way. What happened? It won't work, Louis. It wasn't Mortimer who welcomed us. It was Sir Gregory. Sorry, Louis. I already told her. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed. But I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. Do you remember if we saw each other that night or not? No, not after going up to bed. That doesn't prove a thing. I was the one who told you that. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. I'll have to find something better. Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. Oh, I better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on, she's putting one over on you. Look at yourself for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. In the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night? That night, we were in Mortimer's private gallery. In that gallery, something moved you. What was it? A cameo. Why? You know very well why. I want you to tell me, why did the cameo move you? Because I thought it was my sister's. I was worried sick that something had happened to her and I was running through the manor looking for the bitch when- Stop lying, Emma. You know full well the real reason I was there was because of the Alazif. Liar, I was there. I haven't even got a cameo. That's enough. I've had enough of this charade. Louis, there's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. Too bad for you, Emma. I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. Describe last night, please. Louis, it's embarrassing. You know full well what I did last night. I want to hear you say it. We spent it together, of course. What? I came to your room after the conference, and excuse me if I don't go into the details, but I was mightily impressed. What did you do? Look how you are reacting, Emma. It's not surprising I didn't tell you about my night with Louis. You slut! That's enough, both of you. Now I know who the real Emily is.
It's you, Emily. No, Louis. She is manipulating you. No, Emma. It's her. I know it. Despite all the trouble you've gone to to put one over on me, I know it is her. That's enough now, Emma. You little slut. Don't think you are going to get away with this so easily. You are going to stop your little game right now. Never. I am Duchess Hills. No. Emily? I am the Duchess. But... You don't. I... Dear God, what have I done? See what you've done. See? Louis? Mother! What on earth is... Go away! You must go. Everyone is going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Is everything all right? Come on, Louis! There's nothing more you can do! But I... Leave us. Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily. Madam, I am coming in. It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her. Please, go. I'll cover you. You are Emily Hillsborough. I knew you wouldn't get it wrong, Louis. No! You little bitch! Watch out, Louis! No! Hell, what have I done? See what you've done. See. Louis? What on earth is going- Mother! Go! You must leave. Everyone's going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Is everything all right? Go! Go, Mother! No one must find you here. Go! Come, Louis! There's nothing more you can do! But I- Leave us! Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily. Madam, I'm coming in! It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her, please. Go, I'll cover you. You shot her in cold blood. What is at stake here far outweighs our personal interests. I, I our should... Our personal interests? I'm talking about my sister's life. She was my other half. Calm down, Emily, calm down. Louis, don't come near me. I warned you what would happen if I found her. I was so hoping it wouldn't end like this. I'm fed up with all these deaths. Emily, put the weapon down. She... she has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Well, to be fair, we've all made mistakes. And look at her, Emily. She's paid for hers. I'm all alone now. Duchess. I am sorry for what happened. I didn't have any choice. Are ah, you? Shut your mouth. You had the choice, all right. You use people according to your own desires, without any scruples. Excuse me, Duchess, but we're in the same line of business. Shut it! And as for Emma, she knew only too no, well. No, Emily. Look at me, Emily. What did you say? No. I'm not like her, and never will be. Emily, no. If she has to die, it will be by my hand. That bitch lied to me all my life, Emily. Louis! What's... Shut up! You lied to me! What are you talking about? If she has to die, I'm the one who's gonna do it. Louis, no! What did he tell you? But why did Sarah betray Emma? Why? I... Your sister was supposed to hide something, and no one was supposed to have been able to find it. And? She would never have talked, even under torture. So why get rid of her? Unfortunately, Emily, the creatures who live here employ methods that no one can resist. I was going to get her out of there, for God's sake. So what are you talking about? Don't tell me Emma died because of that book. I have to know. Anything but that damn book. Emily Mortimer's a demon, in the literal sense of the word. What are you... Lord Mortimer has been around since the Third Crusade. 
He fiddles with his family records so he can keep maintaining his identity. I know it sounds crazy, but I swear on everything I hold dear, that's the truth. What? But when did... Louis, I... Do you realize what you are asking me to believe? I know, but it's the truth, Emily. How do you expect me to accept this? We are in the Golden Order precisely to fight against such beliefs. Do you remember those deeds we found behind the chimney? They weren't fake. There's a reason why they're all signed by his same hand. Demons. In his study, he keeps the Mortimer family tree. They produced only boys, just one per generation since the Third Crusade. And they are all called William. He justifies his own existence, Emily. Look, I'm going to believe you, but if you're taking me for a ride... Unfortunately for us, it'd be impossible to even make up a story like that. All right, I believe you. Thank him. You owe him your life. I have always been very lucky to have him as my son. You know full well that getting yourself worked up like this is not going to help. It won't make any difference. It won't bring Emma back. Forget... I couldn't give a damn if it makes any difference. I only want to not think of anything. And then get out of here. I told you not to come in. Emily, I only want to talk. I understand that you're upset after everything. You understand? You understand nothing. Listen. We're going through a difficult time. Even I'm dumbfounded, dumbfounded and I... Dumbfounded? Dumbfounded? Do you want to know how I feel? Dear God, how could I have done this? I want it to stop. We've all lost something here. All this, everything that's happened, it's a nightmare. I want to wake up. Emily, Calm down and put down that glass. I know you're telling the truth about Mortimer and home. I know they are demons. That's not all. Go on. I'm one of them, Emily. I'm a demon too. I know. But, but how? Sir Gregory stopped by to tell me. I... He wanted to bid me a welcome. I don't understand. Welcome to the family. Uh, uh, you? You're his daughter? Mortimer's daughter, Louis. What? No, no, that's not a, that's not possible. If, so we have... We are brother and sister? This is too much, Louis. Much too much for me, Louis. I can't look myself in the mirror. I should never have spent the night with... I was attracted to you from the moment we first spoke on the boat. And now I understand why. Do you realize what that means? I'm a monster. And I am one as well. When I think of my feelings for you, I... Ah, oh, that feeling, it hurts all of a sudden. Uh. I... She, she's there, I... I can feel her inside me. She's trying to read my thoughts. Emily, don't do that. Get out of my mind, please. Let me remind you that it's forbidden between demons. I... Sorry, Louis. I didn't want to. I have a sister. It's... It's very strange for me, too. A sister for a brother. Yes. Yes. I must get some rest. I must ask you to leave me now. All right, but don't finish that bottle. Don't start now. I would like to get some sleep. I'll be leaving you then. I... Thank you, Emily. Manipulated us all. You're going to pay. What is at stake here far outweighs our personal interests. Our personal I'm... interests? You betrayed me. Emily, no! What an idiot. He still doesn't get it. But wait, how has Sarah betrayed you? I don't believe it. You still don't get it. I'm not Emily, stupid! You went as far as killing your own sister? You're the one who pointed her out. You only have yourself to blame. Oh, dear God! Surprise, Sarah! You can't just get rid of me like that, you old hag. Do you realize what you did? Emily loved you, Emma. You endured everything together. 
You were never alone. It's... you have no idea what I had to endure. But it must have been the same for Emily. You both went through so much. She always saved the worst situations for me. How many times have I had to climb into bed with some man I'd never even seen before because Emily had seduced him during the day? Emma, it's obvious you suffered a great deal because of the path your lives took. But don't try convincing yourself that your sister didn't suffer too. Duchess, I am sorry about what happened. You had a choice! You use people according to your desires without any scruples. Excuse me, but we are in the same line of business. Shut it! And Emily knew it very well. No, Emma, look at me. She would never endanger herself for the sake of the Order. Her sense of duty gave way to her personal interest. In the end, Sir Gregory was the only one who was truly honest with me. He has opened my eyes more in two days than my sister did in a whole lifetime. Sir Gregory? You've got to be joking, right? You're not really going to trust him, are you? I trust Gregory. He's always honest with me. Emma, take a moment to consider this, I beg you. I don't think you're fully aware of the situation. With all you've suffered under Emily's thumb, you really ought to flee Sir Gregory. Gregory has always shown me that he cares about me. He's using you. He feeds off your hatred of Mortimer, and me, and your sister. You mustn't let him do that. No, I... No one will ever use me again. No, I refuse. It isn't fair. There's been enough deaths. No, it, it isn't fair. I haven't done all this for nothing. Home promised me I could be the only Duchess Hillsborough from now on. Mortimer is a demon in the literal sense of the word. He and Sir Gregory have been living amongst us for several centuries now. I know, Louis. What? You knew? Of course. And they can even read our thoughts, would you believe that? But it makes no difference. I serve Gregory. Mortimer can drop dead, he absolutely deserves it. Unless you decide to kill everyone on this island, You'll have to explain your actions once you get back. All this effort to become the only Duchess Hillsborough ruined it in an instant. She betrayed me! You will be tracked down, hunted like a criminal. In the end, there will have only been one Duchess Hillsborough. In I am Duchess Hillsborough! You will not die by my hand today, Sarah. She deserves to die. In fact, I think that honor goes to you. Where is the Alazif? Sir Gregory planned to get it off the island by boat. I wouldn't be surprised if he sends it with the next shipment for the continent, but I don't know when that is. We have to talk. I was just wondering. Uh, oh, what's she smiling for? Right, I shall begin. It's going to be an awful lot for you to take in on just one day, but I must tell you that I'm a demon too. Excuse me? I know that you are too. Gregory told me everything during my convalescence, and that isn't all. I'm also Mortimer's daughter. You understand what that means, I hope. I, uh... That's right. I am a demon too. And I am your sister. And we also slept together. But don't be too hard on yourself. It's a bit unnatural when you think about it, but um, then you couldn't know. This way, at least, everything stays in the family. It's for the best. It mustn't prevent us from living out our affair in the open, however. Our affair? Have you lost your mind? I'm far too soft on you. I'll let you have everything, of course. So don't be nasty, if you don't mind. She's not all there. It's... it's plain to see. Yes. True, it's... it's been a long day. Yes. You ought to get some rest. You can sleep there. You know that, right? Although, thinking about it, best remain discreet for the time being. We shall go see Father later and tell him everything. Of course, he'll be disappointed because he bet it would be Emily, I think. Whoa. 
She is completely mad. But I think he will be proud of me when all is said and done. She's talking to herself. She can't even see me. He loves me. Oh, he loves me not. Yes, we'll have to tell father all about this. But I don't want to live on this island. It's too cold. There's no point in insisting anymore. I'm going, Emma. Yes, I'll see you later. La, 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 Louis. La, la. Emily, it's me. Come in, Louis. I just saw... What's that servant doing in your room? A gift from father. <laughs> You're joking, right? Unfortunately not. He's worried about my health. Ah, oh, typical. Of course, I understand this is in no way an overreaction on his part. Anyway, I've come to see if you're better. That's very nice of you. Thank you. I'd appreciate it if we kept our last discussion to ourselves, Louis. I'm not very proud of the state I was in. But don't worry. Thank you. And did you manage to speak to Mortimer? One moment. I'd rather continue our discussion away from any curious eyes. Follow me next door, please. You wanted to know if we spoke. Well, let's just say he didn't stick around long, but yes, I can definitely say we spoke. And did he go all right? I imagine you spoke about yourselves. He confirmed what Sir Gregory told me, that he really is my father, that he didn't know I was his daughter until a short while ago. And, well, how are you? Did you take it all right? To be honest, I don't know. I feel like I've lost all my bearings. And what about me, then? Do you trust him? Are you joking? I'll never be able to trust him. He distills the information that he's willing to share, a drop at a time. He manipulates the people he needs and gets rid of those in his way. Sure, he's our father, but he can't count on me to follow him in everything he does. And you? What do you think? Honestly? I don't know who to believe. The only person I really trust is you. So, I'll follow you this time round. I won't be voting for him. I'm not convinced by his proposition. I'll be voting for Sir Gregory. I understand. In that case, I'll vote for home. Like you. But it won't please father. That's only to be expected. But, well, it's not my fault if he hasn't been able to convince me. Don't worry. He'll get over it. Right. I won't disturb you any further. See you later for the vote. See you in a while. For or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Duchess Hillsborough. Against. I have to protect my sister. Help me, Louis. Emma is completely lost. She needs to be close to her si As for Emily, well, she no longer trusts anyone. Apart from me, that is. I have to stay by her side. Is anyone there? I can hear you. I know you're there. Help What? Me. Help! What are you doing here? You. It wasn't enough for you to let me be killed. You have to come here and stop babbling away at me. Fool, you couldn't have stopped her from shooting, could you? Change your tone because I'm not the one who shot at you, remember? It's not my fault if your sister got rid of you like a dead weight. I... what you just said was nasty. That was for treating me like an idiot. I didn't want it to happen like that. I just wanted to exist a little too. But didn't you ever think there might be other ways of doing that? Obviously. It's easy to say that now. Louis, we have no time to lose. Help me, please. What on earth is she talking about? Come on, I... You're dead. No. There's got to be a solution. I am made of the same stuff as you. I already survived a gunshot at point-blank range. I will survive this. Help me. I'll go mad if I stay here any longer. I must have been here several months. I, I stopped counting from... Hang on. What are you doing here? Are you dead? No. Sir Gregory brought my spirit here 
but I must get back as soon as possible. So you should be able to help me. Emma, I have no idea of what's going on. How do you expect me to help you? There must be a way. I beg you, promise you will help me, Louis. All right, all right, calm down. I'll do everything I can to get you out of here. Thank you, Louis. I knew you were a good man. Right. I must get going now. Just stay calm. Everything will work out fine. Louis! No! Yes. What's happening, Louis? You look... I... Ho Holm is dead. Good God, he did it! What do you mean? He warned me that Mortimer would probably try to get rid of him. He couldn't believe it himself. But we have to admit that he was right to be wary. We are in great danger, Louis. Wait, what are you talking about? When Gregory came to warn me, he assured me that we would be the next to go down. I don't understand. Why would Mortimer attack us? His brother, then his children. He feeds on us. Pardon me? The bastard! It's been right under our noses all this time, Emily. Saturn devouring his children, and without Gregory to obstruct him, now we're easy prey. No, no, it's, it's impossible. No. He's insane, Emily. But, but don't worry. We're together now, and he doesn't know that we know, which means that we have the advantage. When I brought up the possibility of us running away as quickly as we could, Gregory dissuaded me. He thought that Mortimer would see it coming and that we would have no chance. I guess I agree with him. And now we're here. I'm not going to let him get away with it. There's two of us now, Emily. We can count on each other. Well, on that note, I haven't told you everything, Louis. This might be a bit hard for you to accept, so I wanted to warn you. There are three of us. Surprise, brother. Excuse me? It's Emma, Louis. Just before he disappeared, Holm explained to me how to bring her back from the ether. We were pressed for time and... And the only body she could find was one of those cursed servants. Can you believe it? Emma, don't start, please. I didn't exactly have much of a choice. Be that as it may, I'm the one inside the body of a masked lackey. I had to deal with the most urgent thing first. We'll try and get you out of there as soon as we can. Just as I promised you. And I'll make sure you make good on your commitment, sister. Emma, for the last time... She is better, don't worry. Being a demon changes many things, and the prospect of getting stuck in the ether for eternity has opened her eyes. Well, I guess it's your decision, but I hope you know what you're doing. Are we ready? Can we go now? Louis, at this point, it doesn't matter what you think about me. You need me. I'm guessing you are well aware of what we're about to face, aren't you? Not really. No. That's just what gives us a chance, is it not? It's usually the only argument the Reckless have in their favor. Take heart. We're only about to confront an age-old creature that can read our thoughts and force us to act against our will and wants to devour us. So what's the problem? If that is your attitude, I suggest we reevaluate the possibility of running away. Stop it. Let's all just calm down. Only a few minutes ago, it was just the two of us. Things are looking up. Our chances are only getting better. How do we get rid of him then? Killing him won't change a thing normally. He is capable of changing bodies. I know how to kill a demon. And the irony of it is, he's the one who revealed it to me. We have to make him touch the blood of an older demon in order to encase him in his mortal body. This is the only way that might give us a chance of dealing him a fatal blow. And I've got the Holy Lance. What's that got to do with demons? Christ was his father. Believe me, if we get out of here alive, I'll have a lot of juicy details to tell you about the family. This lance actually received the blood of an ancient demon, and it can work on Mortimer. Let's do it then. Are you sure you're ready for this? Will you be all right? Yes. Yes, I feel a lot better. Don't worry about me. As you wish. Louis, there you are. Look, she's better. Perfect. Good. Are you ready, Louis? Can we go? Yes. Let's get it over with. I think... Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, Father. Hmm, Emma. You brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. 
It's over, Father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Uh, Louis! Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah, how dare you! Keep going! It's working! Get him! No, Louis! No! No, don't do it! It's over. You've lost. No, 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 stop! Oh. Oh. <laughs> My son, you will regret your actions when you see him. Come, Louis, it's over. Let's leave. The Duchess, through her relationship with the Crown, made it possible for Great Britain to build closer links to the United States on both the diplomatic and the commercial fronts. She became inseparable from the Marchioness Cunningham, reputed for being the most influential mistress of King George IV of England and whom she inducted into the Golden Order. Emma? Come in, Louis. What can I do for you? Well, the conference will be upon us soon, and I found some and more... And right you are. I've wanted to wait a bit before speaking to you about it, but as you are here, I've been thinking about what we'll do when we get back. How we ought to decorate the house, prepare the children's bedrooms. Yes, I want three, and the firstborn will be a boy. We'll call him Louis, after his father. <sighs> Oh, great. This just keeps getting worse. She's drifting deeper into madness. All right. I can't let her be taken advantage of for the sake of this cursed conference. If Mortimer doesn't help her, then I'll have to come down to home. Emma, listen to anyway, me. Anyway, we'll have time to speak about it later. Regarding the conference, as we're going to vote for Mortimer's project, I thought to myself, you ought to go and notify Sir Gregory that we won't be following him. For Mortimer? But I thought you weren't on very good terms with him. True, but he came and spoke to me and he, well, I'm not exactly sure, but I shall vote for Mortimer. Anyway, go and tell Gregory that we've changed our minds. Madam, you shouldn't take part in that conference. What would you say about returning to England? I must vote for Mortimer. It's not reasonable. I must vote for Mortimer. I see father hasn't left her much choice here. Very well. I'll go and tell Sir Gregory right away. I'll see you later then, madam. I hope Gregory will be able to do something. She really needs help. I was getting impatient. So tell me, have you been able to speak to everyone? Absolutely. And did you find a, a traitor in our midst? Before I go any further, I'd like to talk about Emma. Yes? What's wrong? She's ill, Uncle. She needs help. She cannot reasonably take part in the conference. What do you mean? Louis, I know that what happened recently was difficult for Emma, but do you realize what you're asking of me? Sir, she's completely out of her mind. Even if you asked her to vote, you wouldn't be able to guarantee she will vote for you. She's locked herself in an absurd fantasy world. I implore you, don't make her do this. Well, I can see there is great kindness in you, Louis. But I'm afraid... Make her leave. Find an institution that can help her, please, sir. You don't need her to win the vote. Whatever happens, I'm with you, and I can assure you of my vote. We can't lose. Very well. I've always attached great importance to our family. 
And even though it saddens me to confess it, I must agree with you that the poor girl is in a very bad way. I will tell William that I'm removing the Duchess from the conference and that he must organize her departure right away. It's almost a pity, but given what she's capable of doing, I'm, I won't feel guilty about taking advantage of the situation. She wanted to play, and she's lost. Anyway, we'll have time to speak about it later. Regarding the conference, as we're going to vote for Mortimer's project, I was thinking you ought to go and notify Sir Gregory that we won't be following him. Madam, I doubt that will go down very well with Sir Gregory. I must vote for Mortimer. I do understand, but I don't think that... I must vote for Mortimer. Oh, right. He's completely turned her. Let's not stay here any longer. I really don't feel like playing house with this mad woman. Perfect. I shall go and tell Sir Gregory right away. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Duchess Hillsborough. For... My own sister. I should have left her to die when the Tsarina caught her. I really am so stupid. It was obvious that she would betray me one day. That bitch. Emily? Louis? Louis! Who on earth is... Louis, where are you? I can't see you. In front of you, Emily. She can't see me? Louis, are you dead too? It's complicated. I thought Emma killed you. Oh, yes, that's right. She still doesn't know everything I found out. I understand that it must be difficult to forgive her, but if you think about it, salvation won't be found in anger, Emily. It's all so unfair, Louis. A part of me does understand her actions. To hell with good intentions. On the contrary, I believe now is the perfect time to decide how you want to live your life, in bitterness or in peace. Think about it, Emily. But I thought, how is it that you are here? Can you move around? I'm going to have to be a bit blunt here, Emily. You'll have to excuse me, but it's quite baffling. Mortimer and Holm are age-old spirits who can change bodies. I... what? They're demons. Louis, are you feeling all right? And I am one too. Louis, you don't seem very well at all. <sighs> because William Mortimer is my father, and he's yours too. Yours and Emma's. <sighs> he's bestowed certain powers on me, like how to read a human mind, and even how to control it. Look, I know, it, it's a lot to take in. Are you all right? Yes. Actually, no. How do you expect me to feel? It would be easier if you told me you'd simply lost your mind, or even that I've lost my mind, which would at least make some sense. If only something inside me didn't vibrate at the sound of your words. I'm not making it up, Emily. You've got to believe me. And where are we then? In the ether, I think. Think of it as a psychic dimension. Oh, well, that explains it then. Do you have any more bedtime stories like that? Well, you are dead. Yes, of course I am. I should have known. Ask a stupid question. Yes, I know, Emily. It's, it's hard to believe, but even if it seems insane, I, I assure you that it's all true. We are dead, and we're talking in the ether. Well, not exactly. You see, I'm not dead. What? But if you are here without being dead, then there must be a way out. Help me, Louis. I am begging you, help me. I'll do everything I can to find a solution. You... you promise? Yes, trust me. I must go. Wait, wait, don't leave me. F for pity's sake, Louis. But I must if I'm, I'm to find a solution. Be brave, Emily. Yes, I understand. I trust you. I'll be back for you, I promise. Lou. I hope Emma has fully recovered. E Emma, excuse me for turning Louis, up like- Louis, your timing is perfect. I'm not so sure. Home is dead. Killed by Mortimer. How'd you know that? Home. He warned me that it was probably going to happen. Looks like she's better. Louis. I have brought Emily back from the ether. I beg your pardon? It was the last thing Holm did, as if to give us a chance of making it through. He guided me step by step just before he disappeared. Unfortunately, I could only bring her back in the body of a servant. 
And how does she feel about it? Right now, she's asleep next door. I must say that between that and all I had to tell her to sum up the situation, it was rather a lot to take in. But she should feel better soon. Let's just give her a bit more time. I don't want to rush you, but time is short. We are in great danger. When Holmes sensed his death was imminent, he warned me that we would be next. It was to be expected. But why attack us? We are his children, so... Good God, the bastard! What? Louis, what's the matter? He's going to devour us! What are you talking about? I've seen what he did to Holm, Emma. He's going to absorb us. I know it. I think that has been his plan all along. Explain yourself. The paintings. He announced it to us from the start. Look in your room. The paintings about you. William Pitt, the Queen of England. There's even an orphanage. Who chose all the paintings? He did. So what? My paintings are Saturn devouring his children. The fall of the dam. The incredulity of St. Thomas. He's been laughing at me the whole time. And where is he waiting for me right now? In the dining room. Remember, what are the paintings in the dining room? Pigs, I think. Yes, Circe turning her guests into pigs so they themselves become the meal. The sick bastard. We aren't gonna let him get away with it. You wouldn't know how to defeat an ancient, child-eating, all-powerful demon, would you? Well, believe it or not, he gave me the answer himself. We're gonna need the blood from a demon older than him. And it just so happens that I have the Holy Lance. It touched the blood of Christ. What's the connection? <laughs> You're not trying to say that Christ is... I'll have to ask you to trust me on this one. Once this is over, we'll all have a few bones to pick, but for the time being... All right, all right, we'll follow you. Good, let's go then. Are you sure you're ready? You were all right? Yes. Yes, I feel a lot better. It's... it's all a bit strange. Sister, I believe we're ready for the end game. Louis, I've been expecting... Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, Father. Emily, you brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, Father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis! Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah! How dare you! Keep going! It's working! You creatures are pitiful. Tell me, Emma. Are you sure you are right to bring your sister back in that grotesque body? Don't listen to him, Emma! Emily gave you her word that she would leave you the Duchess. Have faith in her! Your efforts are futile, father. I have faith in my sister. And me in her. Perfect. They won't let themselves be taken in. Emily. You have always been the dominant one. And you expect me to believe that you're now going to simply hand over your whole life's work? You can't fool me, my girl. I can read you like a book. Emma, remember? Remember everything you shared together. Remember all the times you counted on each other. You were united like no one else can be. Stay concentrated, Emma. Count on me, sister. Great. They're supporting each other. As long as Emma doesn't falter. Emma, my dear daughter, let me help you. You have won. Look, you have it all. You are Duchess Hillsborough. You are rich. You are young, beautiful, influential. I'm so proud of you. You are the one I've been waiting for. You know what she's like. You know she harbors vengeance in her heart. She'll never let you have all this to yourself. Never. I beseech you. Let me help you. Let me protect you, darling.
Emma, look at her. Look at Emily. You know her. She knows you. But I... Go on. Look at her. It is her. She loves you. She's counting on you. Emma, help us. My sister... It's over. Let's leave. The Duchess enabling Great Britain to build closer ties with the United States on both political and commercial fronts was her last diplomatic feat. She gradually withdrew from the English court and had to retire to the country, supported by her ever-present friend, the author Jane Austen. They say that the Duchess inspired her novel, Emma, which became a bestseller in the year 1816. Are you sure you are right to bring your sister back in that grotesque body? Mortimer! Is this how you manage to manipulate your brother? Now, now, Louis, don't think you can change the topic so easily. The question remains open. Emma, after everything Emily has been through, a life lost creating this character, do you really think she's going to just let you take over the main role? Emily, I promised you we would find you a better body. I'll do everything in my power to help you. No, 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 stop, Emma. He's trying to manipulate you. You killed her. And now you think she's just going to, what, leave it at that? I know. You will never forgive me. Don't listen to him, Emma. I swear, I mean you no harm. Oh, shit. He's succeeding. Emily. You have always been the dominant one. And you expect me to believe that you're now going to simply hand over your whole life's work? You can't fool me, my girl. I can read you like a book. Emma, he's lying. Don't listen to him. He'd do anything to undermine us. No, it's true, Louis. The Emily I knew would never have accepted such humiliation. Emma, no! Trust me! She spent her life creating this identity, day after day, and playing the main role. And you think now she's going to agree to be your servant? I am sure you have already planned your vengeance! Damn it, she's yielding! No, Emma! Stay calm, I beg you! You're playing right into his hands! This is all your fault! No, Emma. Stay concentrated! To hell with your plan! Emma! Louis manipulated us, Emily! Open your eyes for crying out loud! Stop! Emma, no! What on earth are you doing? Let him deal with father himself! It is not my problem! Louis, no! I should never have trusted you again! We've lost everything because of you! Here, my daughter. I'm proud of you. You know what to do if you want to make sure she never betrays you again. <laughs>